it's a it's a good point too because in Greek Petros is feminine. Did you know that Petros is feminine in Greek? That's why they say uh, some other Christians say no, uh, it cannot be the rock because that's feminine. But in Aramaic, in Aramaic, it's masculine. That's why, and 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 the good part is. Jesus spoke Aramaic. Jesus didn't speak Greek. He spoke Aramaic. So forget about Greek. Study Aramaic. Because Aramaic is what Jesus spoke. Okay? Now to this. I've spoken about this. Am I my brother's keeper? Why? Today, today is the uh, feast of the Queenship of the Blessed Mother. Too. In case you... <clears throat> this is the story of uh, the Pharisees. The Pharisees who would order everything, everyone else would do the sacrifice, but they don't do anything. So this is Tuesday. The problem here is, it's like, uh, you know, the, you see the grape, the grape, the grape they paint every, every time, put flowers, very nice outside, but inside, it's gross, right? Inside, it's it's rough. That's what this is. There's uh, the way they are things of the law: judgment, mercy, fidelity, clean, clean and up. The problem here in, in the message in Matthew 23 is <clears throat> you cannot be uh, so hypocritical that you are clean outside, but inside you're you're gross. You know what I mean? So you gotta be clean, in and out. Wednesday, same as Tuesday. Thursday, stay awake. Thinking. Stay awake. Matthew 24. You don't know the time. You don't know the time. The Jehovah's Witnesses uh, magazine, awake. I said, yeah, you awake. <laughs> Friday, the ten virgins, five are wise. You know the story here. They brought oil. With them, the five wise virgins brought oil, so they would they would have enough while waiting. Because you don't know how long you will wait. My wife Alma is among the five wise virgins. She always carries a lot of provisions wherever we go. We can go one year, <laughs> not run out. <laughs> wise virgin. Saturday. The parable of the talents. Remember these talents? One was given five, he doubled it. One was given two, he doubled it. One was given one, and he was so conservative, he, he kept it. He buried it, and then when the master came back, oh, you know, I know you're, you're this and that, and here's your talent back. You, what was the word? Wicked servant. Wicked is a very harsh word in the Bible. If you are lazy, you don't use your talent. I'm not looking at anyone in particular. <laughs> <laughs> the parable of the talents, Saturday. You gotta use your talent. Next, Matthew 16 again. Whoever wishes to come after me, what? Deny yourself, take up the cross, and follow me. And what does it benefit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? That's next Sunday's Gospel. Quickly. Materials. Revelation 21. The New Jerusalem. Okay. New Jerusalem, right down here. Heaven. The New Jerusalem is heaven. Come, I will show you the bride. Who was speaking here? Sun Zhong. Are you sure? This is John's vision. This is John's vision. Evil city? <clears throat> Babylon. Okay, towards the end of the first paragraph, commentary 9, verse 21. 
highlight the city is given the titles of bride and wife, spouse, which are normally used in to designate the church. This is the context of the imagery used. The city represents the church that should be highlighted. The community of the elect viewed in its complete in, in dissolvable union with the Lamb. So the church, we, we are the church. Ten fourteen is the vision of the prophet Ezekiel. Psalm 145. From the third line of the commentary, the works of God make God present and invite human praise. It's always a good idea to praise God. Whenever you hear something good, the best response is, praise God. Psalm 125. John 1, the calling of the first disciples. You know the story? Commentary 45 to 51. The first one, let's just highlight the Apostle Philip. Highlight Nathaniel, Nathaniel, Bartholomew, the same person. On. Thursday. Is it Thursday? No, Wednesday. On Wednesday is the Feast of St. Bartholomew. Oh, it's right there in the front. Wednesday. Wednesday, the Peace of St. Bartholomew. This is a nice commentary here. Look, the next one is, you see Nathaniel. The, there's very little we know about Nathaniel and Philip, so you can find something here. Okay, next. Meditation, can anything good come out of Nazareth? John chapter 1, verse 46. You definitely must read this. Look at the, the key verse. After that meditation. Here's a true Israelite. There's no duplicity in him. Don't you see that? The key verse. And that to know. That's after the meditation. What does it mean, no duplicity? No duplicity means. Here's a uh, commentary from Pope Benedict XVI, uh, given on November 4, 2006, in the general audience. You know, some people, duplicity, there's no duplicity in him, because some people, when they, especially politicians, when they're in front of a crowd, they say what this crowd wants to hear. And what have we been saying since day one of this Bible class? If you are here to hear, hear H-E-R-E, -E, to hear H-E-A-R, if you are here to hear what you want to hear, this is not the place for you. If you want to hear what you need to hear, then you, you, you should be here. That's without visiting. Remember God and Mammon, two masters? St. Peter Damien also has a commentary here. Uh, 
Are you and I a hard case for God? You bet. No one can come to the Father unless drawn by the Father. This is here because remember I was, I, was, I put it before, we seek God and God seeks us too. That has something to do with this. Then we have the wisdom of God. I hope you read the... You know you can, when I send you the email, we are taught, these are attached to it. And what you can do is read. You don't have to print, you can just read the electronic copy. Then I'll give you the copy here. Quote for this week, if we really love the good one, the good God, we should make it our joy and happiness to come and spend a few moments or go in. And ask him for the grace of forgiveness, and we should regard these moments as the happiest of our lives. Who said that? Saint John Vianney. Saint John Vianney. How can you say you love God if you don't go to Mass? <laughs> you don't want to go to church, and then you love God. How can you reconcile those? How can this be? Who asked that question? Who asked that question? The Blessed Mother. Here's a good apologetics for you concerning that. Most Protestants believe that Mary was only a virgin until after Jesus' birth. Catholics believe Mary was celibate her entire life. Catholic doctrine is the biblical doctrine. Let me ask you, as a final point on this, when you, at home in your kitchen, you have special wear, right, silverware? that you don't use every day. It's on display in the cabinet. China cabinet. Yeah? You have special plates that don't, you don't use every day. It's only for special visitors. When special visitors come, then you, you use those. What would be more special than the Blessed Mother? You think St. Saint jo Saint Joseph could not have understood that the Blessed Mother was the Ark of the Covenant? Of course he could. He's, he must have, right? So there's no way Joseph and Mary did what normal couples do. There's no way. There's no way. It doesn't take long to realize that. The same way. Because the Blessed Mother is so special. Special vessel of honor and devotion. Good news, Jeremiah's fifth confession. It was Jeremiah who said, You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself to be duped. You too strong for me. That's a very beautiful word, worth uh, quoting from Jeremiah. Jeremiah was a young prophet. Remember, he refused at first. I'm too young. There's no turning from God. Psalm 63, thirst for God. You need to underline here commentary 4. Your love is better than life. You know who quoted this? Cardinal Newman quoted this. For your love is better than life. The Old Testament is anything priced above life, in this case, God's love. Romans 12, Solidarity in the Mystical Body. The last verse here is, is, has to be highlighted. That you may prove what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. In other words, you must have your mind renewed that you may prove what is the will of God. In the New Testament, Christians are really called to offer sacrifices to God. 
no longer sacrifices of animals, but offerings of themselves. 